Without doubt, the pool buoy has to be one of the most common pieces of kit to be found at the end of a swimming pool during any session. In fact, some people become so reliant on it that they maybe even struggle to complete a session without incorporating the pool buoy. But why? What is it doing to our stroke that makes it so popular? All right, so let's take a look at actually what adding a pool boy does to your stroke. Well, first up, it isolates your arms and your upper body so you can focus purely on the pull phase. Now, this initially might feel a little bit harder as you're losing that propulsion that you'd naturally have from your legs. But the biggest effect is probably on your body position on the water. It can help improve and give you a much better body position. So what do we actually mean by better body position or proper body position? Well, if you watch the top swimmers, you'll see that the whole of their body is just sitting much higher in the water and everything looks rather effortless. They glide through the water on every stroke. Well, the pool boy is going to sort of artificially replicate that position. So it's going to prevent you from having those sort of sinking, dragging legs and naturally just put you in a much better position. And this has a second effect that it's going to allow you to really concentrate on being able to practice the perfect stroke and get an idea of how that should feel so that when you do remove the pool boy, hopefully it'll start to translate to your actual real stroke. There is something about removing the leg kick and taking out that rhythm that comes from the kick that allows you to play around a little bit more with the rhythm of your arms, so your cadence, your stroke rate, the speed that you're moving your arms. And if you're someone who naturally struggles with quite a slow stroke rate and you want to improve it, then just working on some drills of arms only can really allow you to focus on that. So do some efforts of just concentrating, say, one length at a time, trying to get those arms moving faster. And when you take the pool boy out, just be aware it can be sometimes quite difficult to get your arms moving faster without kicking harder and then you just end up tiring yourself and turning into a sprint but with several drills and just practicing, practicing this over time hopefully it'll become more natural when you return to full stroke. As we've mentioned, doing pull work allows you to really focus on technique because it takes out the worry of having to think about what your legs are doing and your body is automatically going to be floating and just in the correct position. So you can then focus deep down on what your arms are doing and especially the catch and the high elbow catch as that is crucial for increasing the power and the distance of each of your swimming strokes. A very useful drill for tackling the high elbow is the sculling drill. By using the buoy, you'll find it easier to focus solely on that action and keeping your elbow high whilst not being sidetracked trying to kick hard. Start with your arms outstretched in front of you and a slight bend in the wrist whilst you imagine you're smoothing out a pile of sand in front of you and then you're building that pile back up in a continuous movement. You can then take this to the mid-pull phase, so keeping your elbows high and underneath your body, you're gonna be hinging at the elbows, moving your hands and forearms underneath your body and then back out to the side. This can be taken to another level by adding in a snorkel and entirely putting your focus on working on the catch so you can see what your arms are doing. Hopefully by now you're starting to realise that adding a pool boy into your stroke brings a level of calmness to your swimming. It takes out the need of your legs really working hard and the worry about your legs sinking. And as a result, it just allows you to swim without needing such desperate gasps for air. And it gives you that time to concentrate on what you're doing the rest of your stroke, in particular, your breathing. And if you are someone who gets out of breath when you're kicking really hard, it's quite a natural tendency to over-rotate when you breathe because you've got that feeling of needing to gasp for air so you turn your head all the way around and then this affects the whole rest of your stroke. So when you're using a pool boy, you hopefully won't be so desperate for your air. You can really concentrate on keeping that head movement to a minimal, just enough to get your breath in before returning back to the midline. Once you start to get used to the feeling of swimming with a pool boy in the absence of your legs, for most people, it will start to feel easier as a whole, which will then allow you to swim for longer and cover more distance, which in turn is going to make you better at the endurance and just naturally make you stronger in your upper body, your back and your arms. And you can take this another level up if you want to add in some hand paddles. Now, these will add resistance against the water, so you'll have to work harder on each stroke. You will hopefully travel further per stroke, but it's just going to be working your muscles that much more so it's almost like a bit of a gym session in the pool and a lot of coaches use that for the strength aspect
aspect. And if you're feeling really ambitious, you could even add a band around your ankles, still using the pool boy, or even take the pool boy out. And then, well, that's another level, maybe something for another day. Despite all of the benefits of swimming with a pool boy, you just need to be careful that it doesn't become too addictive and you find yourself almost unable to swim without it. It will affect your stroke in a couple of negative ways if you solely use a pool boy because it can reduce the amount of rotation. It can encourage you to swim a little bit flatter in the water. And because it's keeping your legs in a much better position, your core isn't really going to be working anywhere near as hard, so it can start to switch off. And if you're not careful, you might even lose that sort of rhythm and connection of your stroke with your leg kick. So just make sure that you don't become too reliant on it. There's no doubt that the pool boy has its many benefits, but try to work out what it is doing to your stroke and be honest with yourself, why do you use it? Do you use it because it's making you work harder and it's improving your technique? Or are you a little bit lazy and you just enjoy putting a pool boy in because it makes life easier? Well, only you can decide that one. If you guys are fans, do let us know how you feel about the pool boy in the comments section below. If you've enjoyed this, please do give us a like and follow us on our social media channels. And why not subscribe on YouTube as well?